Hi, I'm Bruce Busby, president of Roots Magic. And in this short video, we're going to talk a little bit about the new search features that we have built into Roots Magic. Now, with these new capabilities, we greatly expand the ways that you can search for people, the ways that you can select people for reports and other things, or the ways that you can select people and use people within groups. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop right in. I'm going to go into the search page and I'm going to select the advanced search tab. Now, from this page, I can click find to enter my search rules, what I want to search for, and then say do the search and it will give me a list of the people that match what I'm searching for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what you're seeing here is what's one of the new features. This is called search rules. This is where you can enter the rules to select people. Now, the rules are no longer limited to just the criteria. In other words, they're not limited to just the name of the person, the person's birth dates, death place, things like that. You are now able to enter unlimited search rules that Roots Magic will step through in order to find or select the people that you're looking for. Now, to create a search rule, I just click on the little add button over here and I choose what type of rule I want to add. Do I want to search for a person? Do I want to search for a family or a group? Or do I want to search for everybody that just selects everybody? Do I want to search for people in a person's tree? Do I want to search for ancestors of a person? Do I want to search for the descendants of a person? Or do I want to use the criteria? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say I want to search for ancestors of a person. And I'm going to search for Leroy Harris. And so my first search rule that I've added is to select the ancestors of Leroy Harris. And when I highlight that rule, it's the only rule right now, when I highlight that rule, I can choose whether to select or unselect those people and who the starting person is, how many generations, whether I want direct ancestors or do I want descendants or do I want all the collateral lines and so on. Anyways, at this point, if I click OK, there I go. I'm, th this is all the ancestors of Leroy Harris. Okay, and now this is a thing that you actually have never been able to do before from the actual search screen is to get a quick list of the ancestors of a person. Roots Magic over here, when it displays the results, it will also show you the rules over here on the left, the rules that it used to find those people. Okay, now let's say that I'm actually only interested in these ancestors if they were born in New York. So I'm gonna go back into find and that's going to bring up my the same, the same rules here until I clear them. And I'm gonna add another rule. And this time I'm going to add a criteria rule. Okay, so now I have two rules, select the ancestors and select by field values. But I don't want to select by field values. I want to remove everybody. So I'm going to select unselect. I want to unselect. Now I don't have any criteria entered yet. So I'm going to say edit the criteria. And since what I want to do is remove everybody that was not born in New York. So I'm going to say birth place does not contain New York. Okay. And so now my rules are, I want to select all of his ancestors and then I want to unselect everybody who wasn't born in New York. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that my list has shortened up because it's still his ancestors, but it's only the ones that were born in New York. Now, you might ask yourself, why didn't I select the ancestors and then say select people who were born in New York? And the reason for that is each one of these rules applies to the whole database. So if I were to say select the ancestors of Leroy, and then say select everybody born in New York, it's going to give me the combination. It's going to give me all of his ancestors and everybody else that was born in New York.
okay? So you gotta keep that in mind when you're making these, uh, making these rules, set, creating these rules as to how that will work. Now these rules, if you get them out of order, if you, if you prefer them in a different order, you can come over here, highlight the rule, and you can come over here and move rules up, rules up or down. Roots Magic, when it does the search, is going to start with the first one. It'll finish the first one before it moves on to the second one. So it'll step through each one of these rules. You can also delete a rule if you want, or again, like we did before, we can add additional rules. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to, I, I can click OK right here, and again, it just refreshes, refreshes this. Now, let's say that this is a search that I want to do fairly often. Well, rather than having to go in and create those rules like this every time, I can go up right here to Saved Searches, and I can say I want to create a new saved search, and Roots Magic will bring this up because I've already created this search. It's the current one, so it's going to display that. Now, if I hadn't done a search yet, this would be empty, and I can create a completely new from scratch one. But this has got exactly what I want, so I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to give it a name, Leroy's New York Ancestors. OK, so now I have this search is now a saved search. So if I go clear the clear all of this, if I come into here a week from now and want to do that search again, I can come into saved searches, choose that same saved search, say do it, and there's my results. It's gone through and it's searched for his ancestors and it's removed everybody who's not who is not born in New York. So if I had made changes and you know added more ancestors or changed birthplaces between when I created that saved search and right now, it would be using the current values to actually calculate and to, to give you your search results right here. Okay, so I'm gonna hop out, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick a feature right here and I'm gonna do this set living feature. Um, and the reason I'm picking this feature right here is because it gives me this screen right here called the Roots Magic Explorer, which is used to select people for something. So like, for example, if I'm doing a report and that report gives me the options to select which people I want in the report, I will see this same screen. And this screen is one where it has everybody in your file and you can go through and just mark the people you want, or you can use mark and unmark buttons to select people. Now, one of the things that's really nice is one of the ways you can mark people besides marking their ancestors or their descendants. In the, in, in the past, what you would have to do is if you wanted to have all of Leroy's New York ancestors, you would have to go through there and do that. You'd have to go mark the ancestors, then you'd have to go down here by data fields and undo it, just basically what we did. But now I can select a save search and since this save search contains all of those rules, I just say do search, and I now have people marked that are Leroy's New York ancestors. So in here, there you'll see a few people that are checked. These people that are checked are Leroy's New York ancestors, so if I say select that and do it, it would perform that function or include in that report or whatever, it would include Leroy's New York ancestors without me having to go through and, and enter all of that stuff again each and every time. Okay, now what I want to show you is something, is how these new search rules affect groups. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and on the side panel, I, I've actually already got groups, the groups selected right here. So here's a list of groups that are in this file. And as I select a group, you'll notice that there's a few changes that we've made to really simplify how groups uh, work. Um, from this list, you've always been able to click add to add a new group. But if you wanted to edit one of these groups or delete one of these groups, you had to click a button and it would bring up a separate form with a list of all these groups repeated and you could add you could edit and delete from there. Well, you no longer have to go into that now. If I want to edit a group, if I want to edit this DNA group, I just highlight it and click the little edit pencil 
and there I can go, I can edit the group. I can choose whether I want a simple group. That's where you basically go through and mark the people one at a time, or you select rule, the, the rules to do that. Or you can have a rules group, which basically lets you set rules exactly like we did in the advanced search screen. Now, as I move through this list, you'll also see that in some of these rules, they have a little refresh button. And that's because these rules are, uh, or I mean, these groups, excuse me, these groups are rule groups where they have a rule. So for example, if I come down here to this Sealy Cemetery, if I wanted to refresh that group, I can click the refresh button. Now it doesn't do anything because it's been refreshed recently. Um, but if I wanted to look at this group, I can edit that and I wanna see the rules. And basically the rules are select by field values. The burial place details contains this Sealy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into Marshall Leroy Harris because he happens to be buried in that cemetery. And I'm going to go to his burial. And in the place details, there's that cemetery. I'm just gonna, I'll throw an X in there. So basically he's not buried in that cemetery anymore and I'm gonna close that. Okay, now when I come to this, you'll see it's still 34, but if I, want to refresh this, I just come up here and click this and you'll see that that's gonna change from 34 to 33. It just removed Marshall from the group. Okay, and so in the past, you always had to go in to edit the group and then refresh from there. Now you can just refresh it directly as you're using it. Um, th there's another place that it, you can do this refresh directly and that's on the people list view. If I happen to uh, be selecting one of these uh, one of these groups, it's a rules group, it will have a refresh button right there. So if I click refresh, it will refresh it and make sure that what you are looking at in this list right here is completely up to date. So that is the new search rules, the new search functionality. And like I say, it's woven all through the program. So any place that you would normally be able to select people or that be searching for people or using groups, these new search rules are going to uh, have, an, have an effect right there. So I, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you find this useful and we'll talk to you again soon.